Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So today I want to do weekly analysis and I want to show you how you do your weekly analysis, what you plan ahead. And this is different. I've never done this in this channel. So if you're watching this, you're very lucky because you'll be able to know how you analyze, how you plan your trades, how you come in in the new week, knowing what to do. Don't come on Monday, not knowing what you do what to do so in this video i'll be giving you three things that you need to master what you need is number one you have to to separate your analysis in three things so the first one will start our monthly we need monthly confirmation so once your pairs they get into that box so there's a box of monthly uh, confirmation so if your pairs get in this box you're not trading these pairs you won't be trading this pair. So there are pairs that you'll know until I get monthly confirmation, I won't be trading it for the month of December. And then there's the pairs. The second one, they are the pairs that you need weekly confirmation. Let's say you are checking your weekly chart and there's nothing you can see. So this box also, if the pairs get into this box, you're not getting, uh, you won't be trading it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday until that week closes so that you can know. And there is the third one that you just, you are not trading it either on a Monday or Tuesday, but you can see how the week progress. So it's called daily confirmation. So let's say still the market has not, um, it has given you maybe a go ahead on weekly, but still it's not a right way uh, trade so this one you'll put it on the box where you'll know and this one you mark it differently when i say box it means we mark it differently so if we put these pairs on this different box so box one box one is monthly so i can name my box one i can name my box two i can name my box three so what i want to teach you today is that when you come with the mentality of you want to analyze many people don't know where they will put their pairs is euro usd in box one is gbp usd in box three what are you looking for when you come on monday do you know that these are the only pairs that i'm supposed to trade this week do you have that rule with you so in this case let me show you with an example i always analyze 20 pairs so in this case for me I analyze 20 pairs, 20 pairs. So every single uh, weekend, Saturday or Sunday, yeah. I will analyze 20 good pairs. So when I analyze 20 pairs, these are so many pairs, I don't need to keep writing. So if I analyze 20 pairs, I know in my 20 pairs, they have to fit in these boxes. So it's me to know which boxes will each fit. Because if you come with 20 pairs and you want to check all the 20 pairs on Monday, you will check till they frustrate you and you leave the 18. And maybe in the 18th, you would have gotten an opportunity. So what I can tell you is, now let's check where what my 20 pairs are all about. You can see these are my 20 pairs. You can see I have USD CHF and the rest, and then the green one cut CHF and the rest. Um... And then I have uh, the, the, the Royal Blue and SDJ Poor and the rest. So for me, my pairs, the monthly confirmation, I always have those boxes. Those um, I always have the boxes. So for the monthly, for the monthly, I put color Royal Blue. So the Royal Blue is for monthly. So what, I, what this means in, even in my mind, Royal Blue. What this tells me, even in my mind, these pairs, I will not be trading it until one month ends. So the other box is, um, the weekly is sky blue. So I have the sky blue. And then the weekly, the ones that I will be checking every day, how, like, my pairs, my go pairs next week are the ones that in red. So red means you have to be on toes. You have to look at these pairs. And then the other thing that I do after I say my box, the monthly box, so I'll just count, we'll count with you guys. So for the daily, the daily currencies that I'll be looking after, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 pairs that I'll be looking every day. So we'll come here and, and, and type, uh, for the daily, we have 10 pairs. 10, 10 pairs, guys. 
and 10 is good because even if i get confirmation on half of those i'll have traded five pairs that week and then for the weekly one two three four five six so on the weekly i have six on the weekly i have six six pairs on the weekly i have six and then on the monthly one two three four so on the monthly i have four so in short i cannot trade these four pairs and because they are less let me tell you which pairs i'm not trading the month of december number one nsd let me put capital letter nsd jpy and i'll show you why number two nsd chf number three gbp gbp jpy number four uh nsd usd and i'll give you the reason why so for me these four pairs i won't be trading them for this month i won't even look at them so the only thing i can do is just to drop them below there i can check how they are doing in the end of the week but i won't be trading them so that's how you separate so i have four pairs that i won't be trading nsd jpy nsd chf gbp jpy nsd sd for the weekly the six pairs that i will not be trading start monday i still need more information i still need more information on these pairs so let's see the pairs i won't be trading um this week i won't be even touching them so the first one is euro gbp and then we have euro chf and then we have audi usd and then we have euro usd and then we have card chf and then we have gbp usd so for me those are one two three four five six these six pairs i won't be trading this week now the the pairs that guys they have opportunity this week are the 10 pairs we have usd jpy we have uh, do i need to write them let me write them for you so the pairs that i'll be trading this week it's not like i will go directly placing the trade i will be looking for opportunities entry confirmation on lower time frame so we have usd jpy and i'll tell you my reasons behind them gbp audi and then we have euro audi then we have usd card then we have audi jpy then we have euro jpy then we have gbp nsd so these are some of the pairs that i'll even concentrate they are one two three four five six seven we have seven uh, they're supposed to be ten let me see which one i'm missing so usd chf gbp card so we have usd chf gbp card and we have nsd card and sd card so those are some of the things that some of the pairs that i'll be checking so this one i'll be trading next week that's how i differentiate so this one i'll be trading next week not trading like i'll be looking forward to trade them this one until i get the weekly candle i won't be trading these pairs i won't be trading these pairs and for nsd jpy chf gbp jpy nsd sd i want to be trading it until the month of december closes so guys that's the first thing that you do when you're coming to analyze and the reason why i'm telling you this because many people don't know how even to to separate so every time have the monthly box the weekly box the daily box and for now we will focus on our daily box so that's why you should trade and look for opportunity on the 10 pairs then i'll do another video why you should not trade these pairs this week then i'll do another video why you should not trade the following pairs this month so i'll have three videos on the same and that it won't be a very long video so let's start the first one so usd chf the reason why i want to get involved with this usd chf actually it's right away the reason it's because we have a double top you can see double top is very clear guys we have fast at first touch 
I have first touch here and then I have another first touch, second touch. And then where is my neckline? This is my neckline. So guys, what uh, using BWA, I told you guys that BWA, um, it's a, a strategy that I only teach my student, but using BWA strategy, it has already been confirmed a cell. BWA confirmed. So even if you don't know about BWA, it is, you can use another strategy like a double top, you can use another strategy, a double top breaking neckline. So the market is going to sell. And, and because they will sell this distance, let's see. If USDCHF, if you're watching this, USDCHF, it's going to sell. Um, we are selling all the way to there. So their first target, our first target is half. Our first target is half, half of this. So this is our first target. So if we sell right now, when the market are opening, our first target will be 90.33. I want to see how many pips are those. Our first target will be 90.33. So USDCHF is a good way, because I've given you reason. Double top, it has a double top. Market broke neckline. And then we are selling all the way to, we are selling all the way to, 90.33. So we are selling up to their 90.33. So that's where we are selling to. So let me see how many pips we have. 316. If you can be able to hold, yes, this HF will be a very, very good pair to trade. So even if we go to daily and try to see how the candle the weekly candle closed, because candle close will support us, it was um still a red candle even if it is a spinning top uh provided it's not momentum it's not like a momentum a green candle as long as it's just this candle usdchf will sell so we are selling usdchf all the way to here gbp card gbp card on the other hand we have a very very strong momentum on the upper side the reason why i uh, i got interested with this pair this week is because of what guys i keep telling you I always tell you about one candlestick, one candlestick resistance. These guys knows many people will not pay attention on this candlestick. So anytime you see one candlestick resistance and there's no other resistance, uh, the market might drop. So in this one, it's a possible double top. So we have a possible double We have a possible double top. So even if you have a possible double top, where is our neckline? This is our neckline, guys. So that's being our neckline. Always, even if we get confirmation, we'll measure half. So this is where we measure half. So from weekly perspective, we don't even have a sell yet. So the half is all the way here. That is our half. According to weekly time frame, what we need to see by the time this week is ending is a candle engulfing this. So you need GBP card if you will be watching it. You want to watch it. And we need a bearish candle. Wait for bearish engulf. So we want a bearish candle to confirm. We want a bearish candle to confirm um, that the market. And, and of course, we want even that red candle to have engulfed. Bearish engulf candle so we want bearish engulf candle to confirm so that we can sell all the way to here so at the end of the day gbp card is potential it is very potential to sell but from weekly we don't have anything because we need a whole week for the candle like we need next week all of it for the market either to close like that and we'll surely have a an entry or a confirmation on gbp card so this is the candle that we, are, we want on weekly so but if i go to daily if i go to daily do i have the same possible double top let me see if i still have the possible double top the daily now yes i have it it's this one for daily you need this candle to engulf the green one you see now from daily entry can be earlier so the reason what i'm doing or you can have a Monday candle just breaking through this box. That's why we say on 
we have to watch it every day because we can be we can get an early entry so for me gbp card is on my watch list and i'll be watching that candle so let's go to nsd card nsd card um let's see nsd card nsd card again momentum you can see it has made a triple top and you know when the market makes a triple top it's a resistance that has been uh quite it's strong because once it's touching it's dropping touch drop we don't know the behavior of this market so what we can do is that this market can drop to half it can drop to half so we need to be prepared in the process you need to be prepared and also this market broke you see they broke this resistance but never came to retest so you can see that the market can come to retest and the same they will be retesting is our half so that's why nsd card is on my watch list and i'm believing that this week card pairs will be more strong because they have been so weak lately so i'll put that and i'll start observing lower time frame so possible double top double top that's my reason for me putting this currency on my daily target or my daily goal every day looking at it so daily nsd card how did daily close you can see it closed with a momentum so what we need to see in the daily of course we want to see first a bearish engulf candle by the end of this week we need a candle to engulf the whole of that uh, bullish candle. So if we go to daily, we'll be observing what the market will be doing on this box. So our work is to observe what will the market do around this box. And, and then now we have USDJPY. So USDJPY is very interesting because on weekly using BWA, it is a confirmed buy. So USDJPY is confirmed buy, but the entry is what bwa bwa confirmed but the entry is what will bring problems because remember for me um i want at least to have um you see this bw the bwa is confirmed so i want at least the market to give me a reason why am i buying yes the the strategy is confirming but if i have here possible double bottom uh it is um good because i have i have much data so possible double bottom that's what we have, possible double bottom. And in this case, uh, if I told this is our possible double bottom, you can see where is our half. You can see that is our half. So that is our half, guys. And I believe that the market, if we are targeting dot target right now, and I will start observing what, how the market will behave around this zone. You see, how will the market behave this week around 133? So when the market is at 133, it is 136. So we are not getting involved right away. USDJ White has not given us to get in. Even if you check on daily, you can see that daily the market broke and now it's like retest. Uh, uh, the, the retest is happening so if we can get a candle that is tapping this zone like that we'll be now looking for buys but unless the market comes around this place to get some rejection so in short what we want to see USDJ Poi doing next week or this week coming is to see how price will behave around this zone that is it so if we get some rejection and then followed by bullish and gulf candle, we are buying it. So for USDJPY, not yet. It has not done what I want, but it's a good, good pair to check this week. The next is GBP Audi. So for GBP Audi, let's go to weekly and see how weekly candle close. So for me, GBP USD, I'm already on sale because I got a confirmation using BWA on monthly time frame. I have said BWA uh, strategy is only taught on my students, on my mentorship. So this is a, is this a possible double, double top. We have a possible double top. We have a possible, possible double top so possible double top how what do we want to see on possible double top first we want to see a candle that is it's a post is supporting sellers so we have a shooting star this shooting star is supporting sell so if we have a shooting star we'll mark our half so for me i have said this sell will sell up to 78 
20 around, around 78 30 from where the market is and then this is my neckline and if they break neckline now we are going down so at the moment G, your gbp audi will sell big time um how many pips let's see if you enter right now it's 218 pips so that's the target for gbp audi let's see how daily candle closed how did daily candle close it closed well because the market uh we can see sellers are good buyers were defeated here we can see buyers tried for a whole day and two days straight market is selling so our take profit for gbp audi it is 78.26 it will go there 78.26 so if the market hits 7900 you can be out for that's the take profit i've given out but the market will come here and then now we'll observe because this this um double top is not on daily we'll wait until the market breaks that half if they break half with the net weekly candle what do we do we sell again to the neckline so gbp audi is a sell it's a sell it's a good sell so gbp audi is the chf right away when the market opens go and sell and then um we go to euro audi so euro audi on the other hand i uh, was talking about uh, we it's a market that we have a double top and then we have a neckline that has been broken you can see the neckline broke but the thing is this market has done bwa and now it is selling for for the reason because bwa is confirmed even if we know it will soon buy but my theory is this market has entered a consolidation you can see so this is a consolidation so whichever the side the market will break to whichever the side the market will break to it will go that distance so for euro audi it's better selling than buying why because the market closed with a shooting star shooting star of course support sellers and the same same zone that the market is targeting is where we have another block so if the market taps this zone we might have a rejection or it can break and come back to this zone and we might have um what do we call it a head and shoulder so maybe it's a head this is a shoulder this is the head for me and then now we get a shoulder now from there they'll decide will they break above or below so euro audi for me i'm still on sale and uh, if you want more confirmation go to daily and daily you can see what we have let's see daily what we have you can see daily the market is selling and if you check clearly if you can check clearly on euro audi we have a double top this is a double top let's mark our half let's mark our half and see where the market is going so don't trade audi euro audi if this half is not broken so guys how you trade this euro audi they have to break 54.86 for us to know that the market will eventually go down so wait for this market to break that place and then we can target all the way so on monday is very very important for euro audi and how it will close for you if at all you want to sell so if you have not placed for those people who are on this trade already it's because i have a confirmation using the higher time frame like monthly but if at all we are waiting on daily confirmation you need to watch out on monday so let's continue guys um what else what else we have um usd card we have usd card usd card gave us confirmation on a monthly on weekly it's on a sell and i don't know why they keep buying like this market dwbb ah not wbb bwa right in here we had broke of structure and i believe the market was just retesting and it is not confirmed what the market wants to do because they have reacted to that order block so unless you see how the market will close on monday because this is the situation we have guys usd card is a good uh sell opportunity but confirmation we have not been confirmed and that's the problem you can have a good setup but the confirmation is not confirmed and again even if that's an order block remember we had a channel here the market broke this channel and have never completed this channel so i'm still waiting for these people to complete the channel so this is the channel guys so the market has to drop all the way to here 
And you can see the, where the market's supposed to drop, we have an order block. There's an order block there. So if at all we have an order block, the market has to drop according to the channel break. This one is considered as um, a retracement. So if at all you want to trade USD card right now and you had not you don't have any any you have not traded it and you want to trade it using daily time frame you have to put this box and if at all they break below just know that market is confirming all the way so you'll have different take profits you'll have take profit one you'll have take profit two and the last one you'll have take profit three so unless they break if you have not got into usd card on daily they break, and that's why this pair it is a daily watch like i can put it this week because every day it will give me more reasons to sell it so you can sell it if they break target 3390 the other target if they break again here target 3225 if they break continue until we hit the tp of this channel so how did jpy how did i hope you guys you're learning how did jpy on weekly let's go on weekly on how did jpy we can see that the market broke here. So the market, the buyers are strong. It's like the way the market breaks and then they don't know. It's like a fake breakout. We can't tell. And then they do, they, they drop down. Uh, those who know BWA, you know, this sell we could have been in, in it. So they, they go down and then they come to the same zone where there was a double bottom be, uh, before. So they come to this place. We have a double bottom and then they touch this place and then, then the market wants to go up. So in short, Audi JPO is not confirmed uh, with weekly because weekly for weekly to confirm is buyers to break that green WBB. So for weekly to confirm, we need buyers having more momentum and then eventually breaking through. So let's see what we need. So we need buyers breaking this half because we have a double bottom we have this double bottom that first attempt and the second attempt so audi jpy on weekly we don't have um we don't have an entry yet but on daily there's an entry so audi jpy those pairs you have to check every day so we have a very clear double top you can see very clear double bottom this is the half guys and this is my neckline so I gave this uh, I gave this on VIP uh, group to buy on uh, Friday and they made money. I think the trade is all is almost the tip is almost being hit because the tip was ninety three thirty. So once the market gives um uh, broke this box because we were waiting for WBB we had like that. So once the market broke, we entered immediately. And you can see the Friday candle is a rejection of sell. sellers. They have been rejected. So for me, I am thinking the market will tap here. And then now we can know what Audi JPY holds for us. So the target for Audi JPY is up to 93.30. That's the target 93.29 out there. So that is the target for guy, for you guys. That's the target, 93.29. So I'm hoping on Monday they will hit that TP. Uh, let's go to Euro JPY. Euro JPY, on the other hand, on weekly, we don't have like a double bottom. It's a market that broke that resistance. You can see there was so much like hassles and the market broke. And then it's like a retracement on weekly. So how weekly Euro JPY can confirm if they do WBB, you see, if they can break through now, we can know Euro JPY is on a strong buy. But when you come to daily, this appear had given out. For me, I saw this double bottom. This is the double bottom I saw. You see how clear it is? And then this was my neckline. So all I had to do is to measure my half, to measure the half, and the TP was hit. So I gave this signal on my vip group i gave this signal on my vip group when we had this bullish end gap because wbb strategy talks of once you get a bullish end gap you end up to there so once the market was around this place i gave them and it was 130 pips target and it was hit so unless this market breaks through here they have i have no business to do with euro jp that's what i'm saying i have to observe it so that if they break that 
half we shall buy up to the end the last but not least is gbp nsd so we have gbp nsd guys weekly time frame the market is on consolidation you can see we have this small consolidation and the market on weekly it's like it broke through so if at all we want to look for entries we need to look for uh sell you can't be looking for buy on gbp nsd and this week the way the candle will close it will really help us to build our case when you go to daily this is how daily candle looks like that's how candle day candle candle daily candle still it has not broken so if you want um entry wait on monday tuesday until they break there if they manage to break this market is going down so that's why i have picked those pairs that's the reason why i've picked those pairs and we cannot assume it will break below because it can also go up and break so we have two positions you can either break below or above i know this is a very long video but why would you not want a long video that can give you five days in advance what to expect so if you watch this video kindly stay away from the pairs i have said and i will be giving reasons from monday uh, i'll give reasons on monday tuesday because these are weekly I'll, I'll be telling you why you should not even check them on weekly why we should not check them on monthly but today because these are the pairs that you need to focus i needed to tell you so the only pairs that we are getting involved right away is usd chf um the other pair that you need to get involved right away is gbp audi those are the two pairs that you only you can only go and sell right away if you watch this video for the rest of the pairs the eight pairs it's work we need to see how Mon monday candle we close do we have an opportunity we still need to come back so forex trading is not for the lazy people it's for those people who will come back and see how the market and the daily candle closes thank you so much guys for watching until next time bye bye love you bye